Hey guys, and welcome to Vloggerary Day 2. Yes, I, I stopped to keep up with my promise, that is good. So today I have a tutorial for a um, kind of the death rockishly inclined cat eye look. And um, I've been doing this a lot lately, and so I've gotten okay in it. Although symmetry is not a strong point, so that may become noticeable. But, either way, let's get into this. So first, you'll want to grab an eyeshadow in the color of your choice. I've chosen a kind of uh, greeny, kind of a olivey, greeny, browny, bronzy, goldy, metallic color. It's 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 a nice colour, it's perfect for steampunk, but um just grab your colour and then just put that all over your lid. Shit. I hate this lens, it's freaking mirrored and oh I hate it. So just brush that all over your eye. It might also help to actually prime your eye first. It didn't actually prime the size, so if it comes up kind of faint, that's why. And then we'll just rub that all over your lids and bring it under your eye as well. Just like that. Yep, make sure you don't get any and you're in a corner. It's for later. Alright, so once you've got that to your desirable shade and shape, grab a small a small brush. I have a very small brush. It's kind of used to be a bigger brush, but I cut it off and I kinda of cut it off a bit fine, but hey, it still does the job. And a black eyeshadow. I'm using this one right here. So just and rub this into your crease like so. And just blend it up and out until you have your desired amount of blending and shape as well. And if you make any mistakes along the way, clean them up with something. I'm using a makeup wipe. This this is a Nivea makeup wipe. These are really, really, really good. And I'm not sure how much they are because I got that as a Christmas present, but yeah. And just wipe that over your sticks. So keep rubbing that in. And, and then bring it under your eye. So like so. And again, keeping it out of your in a corner. Yep, like so. And then we're gonna tight line our eyes with a black eyeliner. I have a tiny little stub of one. I need to get a new one. So in a waterline, uh, lower waterline, and upper, like so. You can't really see the difference, kind of, yes, maybe. Yep, and now. We do a cat eye. You're gonna need liquid liner for that. And first step is to line your top lash line to your desired thickness. You, if you want to have a thin line or a thick line, 
I kind of go in between, just make sure it's even ish. Hmm, hey, lining with lines. That's it. Something that needs to be done. And bring it into the inner corner, like so. Yep, and that. Cool. And chop that up. And now, starting from, starting from some, a, wherever you desire in your temple area, you're going to create a line, bring it to the bottom of your lash line, so that here-ish, where two lines meet, and then you're going to create a line above that and just keep dragging it along until it meets up somewhere on your lash line and then you're going to fill that in and as you can probably see it, I think it's not very even You'll probably have better luck than I will, I don't know, but symmetry is not from my strong point. Mm. Then just tidy up your lines. Yeah. Tidy them up, make sure everything's filled in as it should be. And yep, like so. And then you're gonna do get in a corner. So you're gonna go bring it down. You're gonna extend your inner corner. And then gonna bring it until it connects to your pretty dumb black eyeshadow fuck that is the phone. Oh Somebody gonna get the heads Oh god You are good, someone got that. <laughs> uh timing so now that now you have a little gap, what you're gonna do is you're gonna fill that gap in with white eyeliner. And there's also a nice little short stub. Make sure it has a point, otherwise it's gonna make this job really hard. And you're just gonna fill in the space that you have created, like so. And then you're going to and then clean up your lines, make sure everything is as it should be. And and you're done. Well, and if you want to add anything like dots or lines or swirls or any extra flecks of colour or so on and so forth, go for it. But this is your basic, your basic cat eye, and yeah. So I shall hopefully see you guys tomorrow.